My name is Eufrasio Reyes. We live at 7612 Wild Onion Drive. And we will just try to explain what happened over here that night of the November 1st. Um, it started at about 5.40 in the morning. My daughter called me from her bedroom with her cell phone and said there was water on her floor. We just wake up like 5 in the morning. One of my sons wake up because we got to take a shower and then my wife went out to see if it was how big it was the rain. She come outside and you just saw the water going through the street. Um, I, I put my foot down and it was about to my ankle so I called my neighbor to ask if there was water in his house because I thought maybe our plumbing had overflown. Overflowed. She saw that one, we wake me up and come out outside and look it up. But then we just come back on the home, on the home, to put our clothes and everything because we know it's going to be flooded. It took about a minute and it was at my knee and my bed starts to float. And I said, all right, forget, forget the water boots. We need to figure out a plan. Let's get out of here. Let's get the kids and get out of the house. When we come out outside, the water was all the way on the knees on the, on the driveway. So we just tried to get it out. And uh, she tried to get in the bed, but uh, she can't get it on. So the water pushed her away, so I just pulled her on my, my truck, and then we go and went out. Uh, my husband had already jumped into action. He took it seriously from the time he jumped out of bed. Uh, and he went and got our wallets and our keys and a plastic baggie, stuck them in there. Then our neighbor, we see him outside with a ladder. So he comes over and he picks up my teenage girls because it, the, it the current was strong enough to where they couldn't get to his home. Uh, my husband gets our five-year-old son and the dog and then they come back for me and we get on his roof and we're there for five hours. So this is the house of uh, this elderly la lady. She's retired. This is the third time that she went through a flood. Uh, she was promised to be bought out in the second phase, uh, but she never got bought out, obviously. Uh, she's retired and she just couldn't take it anymore. She just went ahead, grabbed her stuff. Uh, this is one of the people that the police never rescued actually from this area and she just gave up. Uh, day after the flood, around nine in the morning, she just you know, walked out and went to her family and said, um, that's it, I'm not going back.